This is giant sequoia, sequoia dendron gigantea, growing in Middle Tennessee. And this summer it put on a lot of growth, really from down here all the way to here. So that's over a foot of growth. It's pretty surprising for Tennessee. This is pretty far outside of its native range in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California. There's a little bit of dieback on the interior branches here. Um, I say little because I have another one where it's a lot more. I'm not sure if this is just the stress of the environment or if it naturally loses the interior needles or does it get shaded. But it's got pretty good position on a slope so the drainage is good. And it put on a lot of growth this year so I'll be surprised if this one has the same problems as the other one. Here's the other one right next to it, and it's got a lot more needle dieback in the interior of the branches. The, this year's growth is still green, but even some of those needles have uh, lost their color. And it doesn't appear to be something where you can see fruiting bodies from fungus or a, a white residue from any fungus, although this central leader stem here. Let's see if we can focus that. Start, some of the scales are turning black. And there's even a little yellow um, sap coming from a few of the scales interior. So maybe that means it is fungal growth. The junipers right next to us have been mildly affected by Fomopsis tip light, so it could be doing the same. I lost another giant sequoia. These are all three the Hazel Smith cultivar. So this is the second one that's looking bad. The third one, by comparison, looking pretty good and it put on a lot of growth. So it's kind of an experiment to see what it'll do next.